So this Tomb Raider game is not like the others. Uh, welcome back everyone and today I will be showing you my copy of Lara Croft and the Temple of Osiris Gold Edition for the PS4. Now, like I mentioned earlier, uh, this Tomb Raider game has a very different gameplay than the normal Tomb Raider games. Um, it is a top-down shoot-em-up game, kind of like uh, Dead Nation. Uh, anyway, so there's a box there, um, you know, obviously, um, you know, bit of, bit of wear um, on, this, on the edges there, uh, as, as you do. Um, it is nicely wrapped in a carter sleeve, as you can see here. Uh, the back of the box gives you an idea of what to expect um, in-game uh, and what contents are included in the Gold Edition, uh, as you can see here. Um, now, if you still haven't figured this out, uh, this game can be played for up to four players locally. So, um, good game for couch co-op, which is uh, a rarity nowadays. Uh, and it, it is a rarity um, in, in, during the PS4 days. Right? Anyway, let's remove the sleeve and see what is inside. Okay, so, uh, let's just move this to the side here. There we go. So, there it is. Right, there's the, um, the carded box, as you can see there. You've got Lara Croft. Uh, and the Temple of Osiris logo in the front, on the side there, uh, on the top, um, nothing on the bottom, and on the back, okay, if we open it up, there we are, the first thing you see is the limited edition mini Lara figurine, there we are, in its plastic mold, All right, uh, let's take it out, and see, there we are, now build quality, I'll give us a I don't know, maybe an 8 out of 10. It's not that great. Um, it's got a few blemishes here and there. Uh, not for me, by the way. Uh, it came like this uh, already. Um, but nevertheless, it's uh, it's nice and cute. It's, uh, it's, it's, it's it, Yeah, it's pretty good. Okay. Um, in here, you also get the a printed map of the overworld. Right, there it is. So um, I'll open it up and show you what it looks like. I'm going to move this up a little bit. Uh, this to the side. Here we go. And there it is, the map of the overworld. Uh, it's got the four icons of the four playable characters in-game, uh, all the different locations um, in-game as well. Right, there we are. And on the back, um, it, oh, it shows you a scarab um, beetle that turns into a bag of gems. Now, I, I can't remember why um, why that is. Uh, it probably has something to do with in-game. I, like I said, I haven't played this game in a long time. Um, but yeah, there we are. Right. So, let's put this away. Okay, the next thing you get is the art book. Here we are, right? Nice hardcover art book. Uh, there it is, the art of Lara Croft and the Temple of Osiris. Okay, and just looking through it, uh, there's four icons of the four playable characters, uh, heroes, I should say. You have got Lara, you've got uh, Carter, you have got Horus, uh, Isis, and then you've also got um, art, uh, arts of the enemies as well. Uh, some of these are, I believe, uh, level bosses. Um, I can't remember which one's which. Um, I'm pretty sure this guy's a level boss. Um, he looks mean, menacing. Uh, those are just the uh, regular mummies. Uh, uh, and then you've got the environments. There we are. And there it is. There is the art book. Okay. And then you have the game case itself. All right. There it is. For PS4. There's the back of it. All right. And if we open it up, obviously, you get the Blu-ray disc. Uh, you also get a season pass with the code printed on the back, right? And that is just a um, an, an advertisement for a DLC that's coming in January 2015, right? There we go. Okay. And that's everything you get in the Gold Edition. Now, also, if you're wondering what's inside of here, um, there's actually nothing inside of there, right? It's um, there. It is. It's it's empty. It's just there to um, to hold everything in place. Well, to hold the case in place so that it doesn't move around. Um, okay. So anyway, in a couple of days, just to let you know, um, I'll also be uploading a video um, of uh, on my collection of Tomb Raider uh, games from in the tw uh, from 2013 onwards. 
So don't forget to subscribe and make sure you get a not notification for my coming videos. Uh, but again, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.